and obviously you're insane, and you get somebody driving behind you with a little trailer, and you drive like a fucking a bike with a little fucking turbine or something, fucking burning like pure hydrogen to a little electric generator, you know, running to a fucking fifty thousand dollar DC motor right on the wheel hub, you and know, just fucking why haven't they fly? Why, this is the question. Why haven't they? Um, I know they've got to be working on it, but like, say you lived battery say you lived Harleys. In, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> no, seriously. Um, I mean, the Japanese have to be working on it. Something where you could plug it up at night, like something that has like maybe a a, a, a maximum maximum um, uh, distance of like 200 miles, so you could you could use it as a commute. You could probably do it with a bike, considering you could they do get it with such a bike. good. Why haven't they done it yet? I mean, they have to be doing it. They have to be doing it soon. Electric bikes, Justin. Well, electric lights, electric, electric, electric Harley's, oh. electric bikes. They got to do it. They got to do it soon. Well, you if can you change out a small. If you live in a small community where you commuted, you stayed yeah. in an area like you know. I mean, I, it would I, work out. Where the, the weather is somewhat temperate. Or every gas station you in your to, entire uh, area could could stock like drastic. twenty batteries that dropped in, and you could come up, pull out your three batteries, drop them in, trade them in for three more anywhere. That's that takes some. Um, Standardization. Yeah, that takes standardization on a massive level. But the but first, I could see that. I could do that. You could do that. But nice. if you sold ten of them in a city, all you'd have to do is be like, listen, you've got to pay the collective cost of this battery supply, and here are all the stations. You know where they are. You can't drive to fucking California like easily. I don't know. That's tough. But you don't make them a fucking drive across the country bike. That's the thing. You know, you don't. No. no. You can still do the thing across country, but you have to have like a set route. You know, they'd have to know what stations they were going well, that's to. That's where. That's where like. Um, you know they're they're running they're going to be running everything off of hydrogen cells in well, Norway. No, oh, um, oh, Iceland, one country? Iceland, Iceland. Now yeah, they only have four million people, so you can you can experiment on that scale and do something right. where you convert everything. It's awesome. I would, I, I would buy Iceland. But it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful concept. I mean, being able to do that. But then now think about this: hydrogen fuel cells. Hydrogen fuel. Well, the, well, the, whole, the hydrogen the itself really is the thing. By they're they're within the next five years. Really? They're already, yeah, they're it is. Is it, it's Iceland or Norway? One of the two. Where the fuck is my computer? Don't worry about I it. I love Iceland. It's not important. I Take know. It. Listen. It's creepy. Plus, the movies that come out of there are so strange. Okay, we're getting crazy. So strange. Listen. Well, if you lived in the middle of nowhere, you'd be strange too. What you need? They give grants to everybody too, like because they're known as like the writing the writing capital of the world. Because if you're a writer, they'll give you like government subsidies to live for like two. That'd be years. awesome. Hey, they had like all the great what writers you know living there. The, Norwegian, um, Wait, hydrogen. There's the Scandinavian mystery writers that have become very no. uh, mystery. Oh, yeah, that's like the new hot spot in that's any I, uh, mystery I literature. Is anything based in like Scandinavia? Like no men. No, it's true. It's I'm been, paying it's him fifty no, cents a minute for this episode. It's been within the last three years that that's happened. And, and you two are know, taking I, a I, tangent. I definitely want to. I want to kind of. I have. A, I don't read much mystery, but like, I've read like old stuff. But well, have you ever looked at hydrogen? Like uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth George. Mm-hmm. She's very good. I Is she? Yes. Uh, my mother read him, and I never read anything my mother reads, but that has enough of a perspective. It's like well written, actually. It's well okay. written. It's well written. And okay. it's English, and I'm a bitch for English. Yeah. So can we uh, can we get back to my therapy Anglophile. session? Okay. Yes. I do not approve of talk. What is the, the bitch is, or oh, the opportunity is making the fucking hydrogen. The hydrogen empire is what really matters. And if you have the hydrogen empire and you also happen to manufacture a range of fuel cell products, phenomenal fuel cell products, then you win the fucking game. They're and already, there's only one place. They're already doing it. They're going to import it. There's to no, us. no, no. I'm talking planetarily. Where do you get the hydrogen from? Where do you have enough clean about, power to about, separate how water? How much you, how much you and that bad boy on? No, I can tell you where. I know where because it doesn't exist yet, and no one's going to build it before me. Um, it, it already exists. There is no hydrogen empire. There hydrogen producing energy. using clean energy. There's no such thing putting out significant amounts of hydrogen fuel. There's one, you have to get your hydrogen from environmentally sound sources. The one place in the world that, that you know, you know where I'd say to go, right? Where would I say go to, where are you going to get enough power to split water? Africa. The desert. Yes. The Africa. only place you go. The fucking hydrogen center of the world is going to be the fucking Sahara Justin, Desert. I I, you know how ironic know. that is? Alex, I don't know enough. I don't know enough about the subject to speak. But no, but you don't. But you're supposed to be listening as a shrink for for pay of fifty cents a minute. All right, but this is not um, interesting to you. No, I'm just saying this. <laughs> I'm not is. looking for your subject of expertise. I'm looking for your just human friendly brain and your fucking listening ability. 
You don't have to, like, you're not going to know. I could be I could be saying things that are facts and be lying on. Oh, man. I have to talk about this. I had a bad morning. Again, I asked T if I could come over and sleep with her, and we text so much that I fucking shrunk. That happens. It happens to her all the time. Whenever I talk about it too much, she don't want to do it anymore. You have to be, like, smooth. You know what? I'm not like that. I'd rather be sharp. But, I mean, a razor blade's kind of smooth, too, right? It's smooth, in a way, you know? Like, it is, actually. The tip doesn't have it's all those little curls. So, I think hydrogen's going to be a big thing. I have, I have, I mean, obviously, seriously, far from dude, finalized. Seriously, I, you should, I mean, seriously, you should look it up. I will, I will, I will. I will, I will, I will look up that country. Actually, I'm But the thing is, they're not, well, maybe they have wind or not, but they're probably not going to be a producer. The thing is, there's going to be... Somebody's going to get a hold of, of the largest plants for the production of hydrogen. And if it's a, if it's a pure capitalist organization, we're fucked. Well, see, that's that's just it. We're Scandinavia, fucked. Scandinavia is not really purely capitalist. It's, 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 it's like a, it's a hybrid between, like, like, total democracy with... See you later, Mary. Total, total democracy with a very socialist bent. Because, because, the, because they tax, so... Like, we could do a lot of great things in this country if we actually increase the tax rate. Well, but, that yeah, way but, but provide, that's not American. Provide, well, that's not capitalist. It's, it, it's just difficult to provide. I mean, it, it is. It it's can be. provide the infrastructure. Because, okay, here, look, here's the big deal. We, we have, have to bite the bullet. We, we never we will. We have 400 times the amount of, of federal employees. Until it bites us. By the population, as opposed to the way the federal government was set up back. You're a federal like, employee? Listen. No, we're just, we're, well, if I don't, if we don't bite the bullet, it's going to continue to fly through our mouth and blow the back of our brains out. That's basically what it comes down to. If we don't catch the bullet in our teeth, this country is going to commit suicide. Right? We don't have a long-term plan. You can't do this forever. And, and we could turn around so fast with the resources here. But I'm talking. I would rather go. We're talking about hydrogen. Oh, are you done? I'll see you guys later. <laughs> oh my God. What continent is the hydrogen empire going to be? The philanthropic, democratic hydrogen empire. What, what continent? Where do you think is the cheapest land with the most power about environmentally? Middle East. South. 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 Africa. Yeah. They call I it, think about that one. They call wow, it, that sucks. Afri my book is called The Light Continent. 